Today we're going to talk about the concepts of linear combinations and the span of a set of vectors. Let's start with linear combinations. What is that? Um, if we have multiple vectors, say v1 and v2, uh, linear combinations of those vectors um, is just a constant in front of either one of those and them added together um, to equal a third vector. A linear combination will just look something like a constant a times v1 plus a2 v2 for however many vectors you have. We can go all the way up to n vectors. And that just has a result v. That's all a linear combination is. Um, but if we think of where we started in looking at linear, uh, linear algebra, we started with systems of linear equations. This is basically starting with vectors and taking the backwards approach. Because um, if we solve this out, what does this look like? A vector has certain components. Um, for my purposes, I'm just going to call them x and y for now. just my resultant vector. Um, and finally, um, using our basic knowledge of vectors, this is just going to look the same as um, the system of two equations, where a1, x1, plus a2, x2, plus dot, 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 a n, x n equals, OK, I'm just going to call it v. And a1, y1 plus a2, y2. So a linear combination is basically the backwards way of writing a system of linear equations, just like this. Um, when we started out, we saw how to take equations like this and turn them uh, into matrices or into vector forms like that. And now we're basically going the other way. Um, so now let's talk about span. Now, a span of a set of vectors is basically every possible linear combination of those vectors. Um, and we, we denote it like this, just span v1, that's a comma, v2, Vn. And that's just every possible vector that you can get by adding and subtracting uh, multiples of any of these vectors. Uh, it's a pretty simple, um, pretty simple concept, but has some pretty big uh, implications. So one question I thought we could do to help explain this concept of span is here I have a vector 10 minus 6 minus 1, and then v1 and v2, which is 2, 2, 1 and minus 1, 3, 1. And my question is, does this vector v lie in the span of v1, v2? So that's, does v lie in So how would we go about answering this problem? That's basically asking, can you add a multiple of each of these to get that? Um, so a1, v1 plus a2, v2 equals v. That looks like a1 times 2, 2, 1 plus a2 minus 1, 3, 1 equals 10 minus 6 minus 1. This is starting to look like stuff that we've already studied before. Um, it's just one more step. I need to put this into a matrix. And from there, I can find the reduced row echelon form. Um, and that should give me the result of what a1 and a2 equal. So let's do that. 
this we'll go into what we recognized bef before from before as our coefficient matrix. But now we're using it to find uh, the result of these vectors. I put my line down the middle to show that there's inequality. Now I just want to find the reduced row echelon form of that. Okay, I'm going to start by putting this one on the top because I like having that one in the upper left-hand corner. So now I'll take row 2 and subtract the first row twice. That's row 2 times 2 times the first row. Minus 1, minus 2 is minus 3. 10 minus 2 times minus 1, that's 10 plus 2, that's 12. And I'm going to do the same thing with this last row. Row 3 minus 2 times the first row, so that'll be 0. 3 minus 2 is 1, minus 6, uh, minus 2 times minus 1, that's minus 6, plus 2, that's minus 4. Okay, um, this I can divide by, my, by negative 3, and that's going to give me the same thing as this row. That's going to give me 1 and negative 4. Um, so those are just multiples of each other. I'll subtract 1 out for my final step. Zero, zero, zero. Sorry, not my final step. I just want to get rid of that one real quick. So I'll subtract this row from this row. One minus one is zero. Minus one minus four is minus five. And what do we have here? We have A1 equals minus five and A2 equals four. Let's plug that back in and see if it works. We'll take A1 is minus 5. A2 is 4. I dropped a negative sign. Silly me. Um, yeah, and that means that this is 1 minus 1 minus 1. That should actually be 3. So I made a bit of a mistake here, because um, this is actually 1 and negative 4. 1 minus 1 is 0, and 1 minus 1 minus minus 4 is minus 1 plus 4, which is 3. OK. So that should work out. Here I have 3 times 2 is 6. Uh, 6 minus 4 times minus 1 is positive 4. That's 6 minus 12. That's 3 minus 4. And that is indeed 10 minus 6 and minus 1. So aside from a few computational difficulties, um, that's how you would go about verifying whether uh, a certain vector lies in the span of two other vectors. Uh, we just look at the linear combination of those two vectors and solve for our unknown. Um, so I hope this makes the concepts of linear combinations and span make a little bit more sense to you. Uh, we'll definitely be talking about them more in the future videos. So that's all we have to say for this lecture. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series and any of the other math-related videos on our channel. If you're not subscribed to our channel, click this link right here. For more help with linear algebra, check out Worldwide Differential Equations with Linear Algebra by Robert McCohen or Elementary Linear Algebra by Bruce Cooperstein. Both are available at an affordable price in digital formats on our website. Just click this link right here.